Today I'm gonna show you how to change the DC buying do-it-yourself DC connectors is not recommended we have not found a single good one uh, best is to buy a DC to DC male connector and then you will have two DC connectors this is from a high quality charger and these connectors can actually handle four amps and they come pre-molded and are very high quality connecting two wires together kind of common with YouTube videos, but never if they're on a charger and next to each other. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. And this is gonna be extra complicated. First, you do not wanna forget it, is to add heat shrink tubing. You cannot do that later because you need really large to go over the DC connector and then it will not be as tight. This is about 200% too big, but it will work. So, I did not expect those kind of wires, but uh, let's go with it. Uh, these thickness support up to five wires, so they have added threads, cut on threads, I think, which we just cut off. And this one is a very special wire. Strangely, both of these are from MDA, but here they use uh, another type of wire, which has an inner core and outer core. And I don't like working with these. Uh, now, damaged take a little bit at a time. And here you can see, uh, MDA uses white for for positive and black or non for negative. Yeah, I want to get as many strands as possible, but all of them are not needed. Uh, the best way to do this is to have these ones at different lengths. Here I'm going to cut off 50% of that one and 50%. Um, I'm going to pre-solder them a little so I don't have 1000 tiny sharp things on my desk. And then cut them off and they will stick together. Those one are already twin and and there are many ways to twin them. Let's just check that they are compatible in length. Oh, the white should be a little shorter. So we'll do like that. And they are on the cross section of each other. Good. So that part is too big, so we will cut that off. We're gonna add a lot of solder and distribute heat until it goes through everything. Mm? Good, good, good. And we can cut that off. We don't want it too big and bulky. Mm? That's good enough. And we have room to do this one. So it would be optimal if they are the same length. Yeah, we can do that. So that's good enough. Now we're almost done. Now they are at different parts. So no matter how hard they pull or what they do, um, they cannot short circuit at least here. And that thing is very important on chargers. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, it's very hard to have, you can have extra insulation here and here that you pull pull on them. Uh, but I prefer to use electrical tape. If you have heat shrink tubing here and here, maybe it will be damaged when you solder and then you have to redo everything. Electrical tape has never failed me. And also it gets like to be five layers and Heat trick tubing is just one. Sometimes the wires can be very sharp and make hole in the heat shrink tubing. If they are very sharp here, they will maybe penetrate the first or second layer of the tape, but not the fourth and fifth. And yeah, it was good. We had a little bigger heat shrink tubing. We're gonna add those. Uh, it will not be perfect. A lot of heat. 
Uh, I don't think you can um, damage the solder. The heat shrink tubing will suck up most of the heat. Let's just go with 550 a little bit. So that's a very nice job. Uh, if you want you can add two or three layers of heat shrink tubing. It will even out the thickness. It doesn't look perfect because it's not perfect on underneath but here, here you can do almost anything to the charger. You cannot damage it, you cannot short circuit it. It doesn't look that good, so if you want it to look good better, you can do it closer to the charger. I do not recommend you open up the charger, you change it in there. Most chargers are not made to be open, and that also, yeah, you should not open the charger to do this. But this is how we change to DC charging port. I've never seen a video of anyone doing this. Uh, so maybe I'm the first, maybe I'm the hundred, but this is how I do this. So always double check that the charger is correct. We have the charger tester where we can check for wrong polarity. So we, we just connect it and it takes a second. And it's 41.6. You can use almost any multimeter and uh, hopefully this one will fit in there. And you can check on the outer core. 41.8, that's fine. So now the ha happy customer can charge happily ever after.